Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. It's happening. Our very own brother, you know, Shoyinka uh, Nobel Trade has come out to say that EFCC, ICPC should be squeezing these APC members, not just anybody. They should not go running around chasing the cart when they should honestly, sincerely be doing something else. It is important that every single person understands that there are corrupt and very corrupt people in APC. And I'm surprised he's saying that because he's been a serious advocate of um, President Bola Metinobo. But I mean, saying that there are real corrupt people in APC kind of give him a plus because some people have, you know, written him out and have said, you know, different things. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Shoika vows to name APC politicians, EFCC, ICPC should be squeezing rather than going after just anybody. Nobel literate professor Wale Shoika has said some politicians in the ruling of Progressive Congress, APC, should be answering questions from anti-grief agencies over corrupt practices during their time in elected offices. APC politicians, I know so many of them who are truly and really corrupt, who have defrauded Nigeria in no small way. The elder statesman who would turn 90 in July spoke on China's television this morning, brief yesterday. He said, when it is time, he would beam his searchlight on such politicians and ask the Economic and Financial Crime Commission ESCC, Independent Corrupt Practice, and other related offense commission to go after them. The relevant right activist and critic acknowledged that President Bola Metinobu was in a tough battle during the National Democratic Coalition days over three decades ago. He said, though somebody records must always be taken to account, but he won't allow past achievement of any individual to affect his option or criticize for public issues. We need to let them know. Shoinka said Tinubu was a fighter during the anti Sonny Abacha struggle. Even law recognizes that, that somebody stood and according to what we have in our account, Tinubu fought for the people. This is the only soft spot I have for him. Critically, for some kind of negligence, criminality, failure, whatever you name it, Tinubu fought. However, I can never allow the past of any one individual to twist my appeal for the urgent issue. I cannot say because you were a fighter during the Nadeko struggle, I will sit down and watch you condole corruption that include failure. For instance, when it is time, I'm, I'm going to name those in Tinubu's government whom he has placed in very high position who are corrupt. Those in critical position right now in the ruling of Progressive Congress, they are the ones, and I will ask EFCC, ICPC to go after them. We know them. I know them. I will name them. Those people held those positions with immunity hanging on them and they committed impunity. They defrauded the nation, their state, and it is terrible. In December, after a visit to President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, Ikoi's resident, um, Shoinka said his assessment of the current administration will come after Tinubu's one year first anniversary in office. Shoinka further appealed saying the bombshell in his interview yesterday when he disclosed that there was a conspiracy to another 2023 presidential election. Yes, there is a conspiracy. There was, I'm very well ahead of it, very well, uh, very well uh, uh, ahead of it. We know what was happening and that was why I stood. He also referred back to what happened in 1993. He said they wanted to repeat the same thing how many years later, but we stood. We know what was happening. They wanted to annul it. They wanted to annul the president's the election at all costs. 
but we did not allow that to happen. And that is why the swearing in went on. And today we feel good that everyone is moving on. But corrupt people must be exposed. The Independent National Electoral Commission has declared Tinubu as president after he polled 8.7 million votes to win the 2023 presidential election. We are aware of what happened. Even the then president did not really stand to ensure that the election hold, but we knew what we had to do to ensure that the result was upheld. So that's showing car telling us that there was a conspiracy. Okay, we're just hearing that to annul the 2023 election. Personally, I did not hear of the conspiracy, but rather what Nigerians were saying was that, you know, the election did not go well. What Nigerians were big on was that, you know, the results of the election by INEC, you know, they feel it, you know, there were manipulations and Nigerians even up to date still feel that, you know, the right person, some, it's not all Nigerians. It would be wrong for me to categorize all Nigerians. Some still feel very strongly that, you know, the right persons are not in the right position. Well, the Supreme Court have spoken mm -hmm. and we've got no choice but to adhere to the instruction. The Supreme Court happens to be the highest authority in the land. Tinubu's administration has started. Is everybody happy? Of course not. The economic situation is biting hard on people living in Nigeria. Look at the dollar to Naira. And of course, Shoinka was with Tinubu. And he said some time ago he will not do any analysis until one year. Is everything totally, completely on Tinubu alone? I will not say yes. Because everybody has got a part to play. However, the leader takes the fall. When you've got a snake, you don't go for the tail. You go for the head. So that's exactly what is going on. Again, before Tinubu came on board, there were a lot of words. Emilio Korn, it's my turn. Whether by hook or by crook. And so some people, you know, held on to that. INEC again did not help matters. We resort that we see and all that. And so, Shoinka is saying that in APC today, he knows of so many people who are corrupt. Why in office? And Tinubu has also now appointed them, you know, to be in this office right now. He said, and now some of them have immunity some had immunity, and when the time is right, he will name them. He didn't name them, but he said he will name them. So this is exactly what is happening, and every single individual is watching to see how things are playing out. Whether you like it or not, we are going to get past this. And Nigerians, we need to know them. They need to be named and shamed. It's not enough to name them. Go and check China and other nations of the world. Where if you are a corrupt leader, oh dear, you will wish you never participated in the corrupt practices if you are caught. But in Nigeria, oh yes, they ride on big cars. They are nominated again and again. And we call them Baba, Baba, both in the north and the south and all that. So to mention but a few, a lot of waters have gone under the bridge. And Nigerians are sincerely, truly not happy. Okay, so Shoinka, if you know them, please name them. It will help. Oh, it will help. Honestly, I can tell you for free. Um, EFCC, ICPC, I'll show you how to tell you the names. So, and go after the criminals who have not allowed, in APC, according to you, who have not allowed Nigerians to see the light of day. Can you imagine that only one person have money that can actually make everybody live comfortable? But you know, humanness. Oh, it's me, myself, and I has become a serious one. God help us. So, my lovelies, what do you think? Leave us a comment. Bye for now.